You can come down. You please make yourselves comfortable. Well, we won't stay very long because we have a lot of planning to do. Excuse me. Now, the first thing... That... <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Clayton. <laughs> oh, uh, good evening. I was just listening to the music. <laughs> On the radio. <laughs> uh, the radio. <laughs> oh, I guess that did look pretty silly. Oh, no, not at all. My father does stupid things like that, too. <laughs> uh, say, kids, do you know that I just got Paul Whiteman and his orchestra all the way from Schenectady? <gasps> Paul Whiteman! Now that's who we should get for our dance. Dance? At the high school, Paul Whiteman? Well, naturally, we have a second choice. Rudy Valley and his Connecticut Yankees. <laughs> Rudy Valley? Paul, what? Look, are you sure the junior class can afford this? We don't know. That's why we want to see Margie. She's the class treasurer. Oh, that's right. And as I remember it, uh, she was elected by a unanimous vote. Nobody else wanted the goopy job. <laughs> well, I'm sure Margie makes a very good treasurer. She's got a real head on her shoulders. Hi, kids. Excuse the towel. What seems to be the problem? Well, we're the music committee for the dance. And we can't decide whether we should get Paul Whiteman or Rudy Van. We want to know how much money we have in the treasury. Do you think we can afford Ben Burney and all his lads? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're going to hold some sort of a committee meeting, you have to follow parliamentary procedure. <laughs> According to the bylaws, the meeting of the Music Planning Subcommittee of the Madison High Junior Dance Planning Committee is hereby called to order. You just wasted five minutes. <laughs> now, what do you think? Should we try to get a real jazz band? A jazz band would be nice. Anything would be better than those three old ladies again. Wilma Ostertag and her all-girl trio? Some trio. Accordion, xylophone, and tambourine. <laughs> you can't bear to listen to it, much less dance to it. And I'm just wild about Paul Whiteman. The big question is, how much money do we have in the class treasury? Oh. Yes? Oh, uh, Madam President, uh, may I be excused? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Last month, on Mr. Wardlaw's anniversary as principal, we paid out... Two dollars for a silk necktie. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was it. You mean there's nothing left? <laughs> We're wiped out? Are you sure? Well, I'm sorry, but the book's balanced. Well, there goes Paul Whiteman. Well, that's one good thing about... That's one good thing about Wilma Ostertag and her all-girl trio. They work for nothing. Who'd pay them? <laughs> oh, I just perish when I think of that tambourine. <laughs> yeah, I'd almost rather have the school marching band play for the dance. That's not a bad idea, Leroy. What did I say? Oh, I can see it. Dancing cheek to cheek to John Philip Sousa. Not the whole band, part of it. Uh, Leroy, what instrument did you play? The cornet. I love 
lot of jazz bands have cornets. We could get a saxophone player and a trombone player. You mean start our own jazz band? Us? Well, why not? Maybell, you play the piano, and Johnny, your drumming is just wonderful. And I play a tuba like nobody's business. Oh, good. Only I don't have one. That's right. What good is a coronet player without a coronet? I know! We can borrow what we need from Miss Prager in the music department. Now, will you kindly tell me exactly what sort of music you intend to practice? Well, you know, the classics. Classics. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we're very fond of Mozart and Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn? <laughs> Mendelssohn. Oh, you don't know how many hours I've spent trying to persuade my boys and girls to become better acquainted with Felix. <laughs> I give my consent and my blessing. Oh, thank you, Miss Prager. Now, let me see. To give wings to this graceful spirit, which instruments do you require? A cornet, sly trombone, snare drum. No, don't stop. I really think it's improving. <laughs> if we only had one or two violins. But don't let me interrupt you. Play away! <laughs> someplace where we can practice without being disturbed. You're right. What we need is a noisy place where we won't be noticed.
here can love and understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. Make my bed and light the light. I'll arrive late tonight. Blackbird, bye-bye. Goodbye, Blackbird, bye-bye. Uncle Jay from Newark. And I never expected to hear anything like this in a high school gym. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You kids got what it takes to get somewhere. And I'm the agent to get you there. Agent? Yeah, personal representative. I want to handle you kids in the business. Show business. With your parents' consent, of course. Wow, the big time. Oh, gee, it's just like a dream. Uh, well, of course, if you can guarantee that it won't interfere with their schoolwork. My word is my bond. <laughs> Archie, we're on. Harvey, don't you think we should discuss this at home? Now, Nora, uh, these, these kids have got a lot of talent, and this is a big chance. Why, well, I wouldn't want to stand in their way, and I'm sure the other parents will go along with me. You have a deal, Mr. Burton. Just call me JJ. <laughs> Come on, Archie. Excuse me, please. <laughs> You've got the cutest little baby face. There's not another one can take your place. A oh, baby face. My poor heart is jumping. You sure have started something, baby Margie, face. Margie, in show business? The big time. Uh, you don't understand show business. <laughs> Ah, that's swell. That's the ticket. Can't you see the whole van dressed like that? I can't see much of anything with that <laughs> cigar smoke in my eyes. <laughs> hey, girls! Come on down. I want to look at you. <laughs> Fresh. That's what I call class. Well, it certainly isn't junior class. <laughs> Mama, don't you like our costumes? Oh, I think you both look very pretty. And how? But I'm afraid those dresses are just a little too old for you. Oh, no! They're just divine. <laughs> well, no paying customers are going to go for midi blouses. you got to give them what they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, kids, come on up. I want to talk to Margie here. Is it all right if I show the gang my costume? Sure, but don't lose any of those tassels. I stayed up all night sewing them on. <laughs> An agent that sews? Don't knock it. At least I got a trade. Come on. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Something the matter, Mama? Mr. Burton, I don't know much about show business, but don't you think this dress is a little too extreme? Ah, oh, we'll knock their eyes out. I thought you were planning to assault their ears. We'll knock their ears off, too. This presentation's got to be socked. New costume, new arrangements, new staging. Did you say new arrangements? Yeah, I'm working on it now. 
I thought you liked our music. Sure, I like it just fine, but who am I? I don't understand. If you like them well enough to be their agent, why must you make them over into something else? Well, that's showbiz. That means show business. Take Al Jolie. Biggest name on Broadway. Jolie used to stand around on two feet like everybody else. Who ever heard of him? And his agent says, what are you standing around like a nobody for? Get down on one knee and you'll be a star. Wasn't that a bit of advice? Jolie, <laughs> yes. I don't think I could do that in this dress. <laughs> I, I was only trying to make a point about you should always listen to your agents. I have other plans for you. May I know what they are? Well, well, the kid ain't selling a song. I wanted to sell a song. What am I doing wrong? Well, you go out there and come in singing like always. I'll show you what I mean. We'll sit over here. All right, now make an entrance. My, he's making eyes at me. Oh, my, he's awful nice. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. <laughs> no, 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 no. What was the matter with that? You go on over and show them on and watch me, okay? I'll be you. Now, this is the way I want you to do it. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she's making eyes at me. He got two hands. Two hands. Well, I make your eyes big like this. Yes. Oh, you can do this from here too. Oh. And then you run around again like this. Okay, <laughs> down and refuse to let her go on with this. What, and break her heart? Oh, I don't know what to do. Now, honey bunch, I know just exactly how you feel. Your little girl starting out in a great big career. I'm sure that Mary Pickford's mother felt the very same way. <laughs> Papa! Telephone, Papa, it's Mr. Burton. He has an engagement for us. A professional engagement for the band? Yes, he's holding the phone. Now, don't get excited. A professional engagement. Nora, please don't get excited. I'll take care of everything. I, I just want you to, to remain calm. Uh, you people just remain calm. Oh, Mama, isn't it wonderful? Margie, are you sure you want to start all this? Oh, yes. Golly. Well, this is only the first job for the band. There may be others. I certainly hope so. Uh, Friday night? Oh, I see. Then uh, it's kind of a tryout. Well, uh, uh, tell me, J.J., uh, what sort of a place is this? What kind of a place is this? Oh, it's a nice place. <laughs> a private club. <laughs> You're treated like little ladies and gentlemen. It's a typical J.J. Burton engagement. Don't worry about it. Goodbye. <laughs> things you enjoy. Football games, hay rides, and dates. Mama, that's kid stuff. We'll be professional entertainers in showbiz. <laughs> if only I didn't have to stay in high school. Are you so impatient to grow up? Well, Mr. Burton thinks I'm pretty grown up right now. I don't care what Mr. Burton thinks, you are not going to shimmy. <laughs> oh, Mama, I wouldn't dare. Don't worry so much about me. I'll be all right. I hope so, Marcy. <laughs> I hope so. I'll go over and get set up with the bandstand. Come on, Marcy. Let's go right to the crowd. Go ahead. That's the idea. There we go. That's it. All right, over here. Now, listen, kid. I'll be right back. I want to talk to the manager.
thinking about what you said. I wasn't patient to grow up. But not anymore. I kind of like things the way they are now. Does that mean you're giving up show business? I'm going to be old all my life. Why not enjoy being young? Besides, when you're up there singing in front of the band, you can't dance. And I'd rather dance. Do you know what I mean? I do indeed. Mama, when you were my age, what was the world like? Oh, terrible and wonderful. Yeah. Just the way it is now. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? That guy must have given me quite a wallop. While I was lying there, I could have sworn I heard Mendelssohn's Spring Song. Only one. 